Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to part 52 of Let's Play Castlevania Symphony of the Night. The end. We have defeated Dracula, we have defeated Shaft, we freed Richter, and the final act, a searing light piercing from the heavens destroys Castlevania, sucking it into the ether. That's it. That's the end. We've destroyed Castlevania. We've defeated Dracula, our father, again. And now we get the second of three possible endings. Um, this is the quote-unquote good ending, where if you have enough of the castle complete, uh, castle uh, percent completed while defeating Dracula, you get the good ending. Uh, the first ending we got was uh, Richter dying. The bad, one of the bad So endings. you made it. Alucard, I'm glad you're all right. I'm sorry. Tis my fault you had to fight your own father. Fear not. I had my own reasons for destroying him. It must have been painful for you. Indeed. But you must always remember that the only thing necessary for evil to triumph is for good men to do nothing. I understand. Alucard, what will you do now? The blood that flows in my veins is cursed. Twould be best for this world if I were to disappear forever. I see. Farewell then. We'll not meet again. Alucard? Don't you want to go after him, Maria? I'm sorry. I can't let him disappear from my life. It's all right. Go after him. Perhaps you can save his haunted soul. Thank you, Richter. Fare thee well. And yourself, dear lady. All right. Alucard's line of uh, all that's needed for evil to triumph is for good men to do nothing. That line is just badass. Second, everything Richter says in that sounds sarcastic. <laughs> it sounds like he's like, God damn it, I didn't get the hot chick. Anyway, um, this has been Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Uh, one of the greatest, well, I mean, just one of the greatest games of all time in general. I mean, this game is phenomenal. I hope you all have enjoyed this LP. I've loved doing it. Uh, I love just breaking this game out every so often and beating it again. Um, we do have an extra video coming up of some of the weapons in one of my other save files that I just want to show off, just, you know, for shits and giggles. Um, so this is this is the end, and uh, as far as my final thoughts and opinions, but uh, there is an extra video coming up. Uh, other than that, I, I, I love this game. Everything about it, the music is amazing, the animation is amazing, the story, while a little odd, is amazing. So the characters can could have been a little more, you know, not two dimensional. But this, I, I, I try not to hold that against it because of the age of the game. That's like saying the first Mario was a little too, you know, Mario was a little too transparent in his motives. It's just uh, that's a retarded statement. So I'm trying to not make it. But I, I love this game. Everything about it. I'm actually contemplating doing a. Uh, uh, a listen through, or just uh, uploading some of the music tracks that came with uh, the, the pre-order CD I got with Lament of Innocence that has several songs from Lament of Innocence, Symphony of the Night, and Area of Sorrow. So I may do that. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, it depends on how, how bitchy YouTube will be about the copyright since it is technically Sony music. Um... If you get a chance, download this game. It's available on Xbox Live. I believe the PlayStation Network as well. Uh, I know it's available on the, the Konami Classics Collection, which is uh, this game, Frogger, and Contra. I know that's available for the 360. Uh, if not, buy the PS1 version. Shell out the cash for it. I, it's worth it. it. Just find a copy of this game somewhere. Play it. Do yourself that, that favor. Uh, it's a grave injustice if you don't play this game and you're a fan of the series. Uh, speaking of the series, there are two games coming out. 
sometime after the, the upload date of this video, uh, Lord of Shadows, that there's going to be a uh, action-adventure style game in the, the Devil May Cry God of War theme that's set as a precursor. He will be, quote-unquote, the first Belmont, but not the first Belmont to wield the Vampire Killer, so it's not quite the same story. It's 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 a, a weird situation with that one, but it, everything looks phenomenal on it. Also, there is an Xbox Live game, uh, one of the arcade games coming out, that is a multiplayer Castlevania game. Uh, that uses the sprites from all of the 2D games in this style, the, the Metroidvania style. Alucard, Soma, uh, the characters from Portrait of Ruin. I, I'm blanking on their names at the moment. Uh, check that out when it comes out. Uh, other than that, I, I really have nothing else to say other than this has been a fantastic game. This has been one of my more favorite LPs. I really hope you all enjoy it. I've uh, again, I've enjoyed doing it so much. This game just this game has earned its place in in gaming hall of fame, and anyone who wants to dispute that fact can can bite me. This game is just too awesome for for words, which is why I'm at a loss for words and trying to describe how I've got nothing bad to say about this game. I really don't. So uh, this is Marauder EX. Uh, finishing up, let's play Castlevania Symphony of the Night. I hope you all have enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you all in my future projects. Till then, later everyone.